everybody, I'm Matt with the LA Writers Center. I'm here with Drew Park, the playwright behind the play Yellow. Nice to nice to have you here. Thanks for having me. Yeah, of course. Um, so yeah, just diving right into it. Um, what what inspired you to write this play? And if you can give us a taste of kind of what it's about, uh, the the whole inspiration process of why you wrote it. Just yeah, lay it on us. Okay. Wow. Um, so uh, first of all. I'm Drew Park, but that's my stage name. My government name is Andrew Dupre. And as you can tell by that last name, uh, it's not Asian. I'm actually adopted. Gotcha. Um, one of the biggest sort of inspirations for me to write Yellow, um, which is a piece about uh, a gay uh, Asian man who is trying to find love on them internets, as we all do, yeah. uh, some of us do. Um, one of the biggest inspirations was, first of all, not seeing myself on screen ever. Um, as you know, a gay adopted Asian man, it's really difficult to find representation for me specifically on screen. Right. You know, we're so lucky that we're starting to get more representation around Asian people uh, in TV and movies um, and other areas of life. But uh, I'm still a little left behind. I'm still, I still haven't seen myself on screen. So part of the inspiration behind this was really just to put forward some of my own experience, which obviously I can't speak for an entire, you know, racial or ethnic group, but I can speak for me. And I really wanted to communicate some of the really wild and ridiculous experiences that I've personally had in the dating world. And no mom and dad, not all of this is based on me, but because <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's it's a little adult, it's a little adult. Right. Um, but, um, you know, I'm a TV writer. I've done a little stand-up comedy before. So it's a mix of sort of stand-up comedy, uh, observational stuff, as well as, um, you know, breaking my own personal, still putting my own personal business out there on the internet. Right. Um, <laughs> But, but also just an, a real attempt to push my own representation. Um, there's so many adopted Asian people in the world. And uh, there's this joke that for Korea in the 1980s, their biggest export was children. Sorry, South Korea. I hope I don't get you know, blasted. But, <laughs> um, but yeah, really just to make sure that uh, there's a diversity of representation out there. Um, as, as we get more and more into um, Asian representation being larger and more significant, um, just like with any other community, it's really important uh, for me that we really give a lot of different perspectives and sort of let people see the kaleidoscopic experience of, of what it's like to be human, um, whether that's being Asian, being queer, being adopted, um, I also grew up in Alaska, so that's also not a perspective that I think a lot of people <laughs> are familiar yeah. with. No, you're right. Yeah. That's my very long-winded way of saying that uh, I'm a narcissist and I really want to put... <laughs> I just want to talk about myself for a few hours. No, but it, I mean, it, it does It does sound like, I mean, you're, you're putting yourself out there, your story, because you're right. It's, it is that kaleidoscopic element of the human experience that like we haven't seen and we're just now starting to get the ball rolling and the wheels turning, so... I'm a I'm I'm really excited to see it and uh, I couldn't have said any of that better myself so uh, <laughs> thank you so much for talking with us today of course thank you mm -hmm.